Ibrahim Dan Haja Academy, a school in Bochi State, uh, that's in northern Nigeria, has won the Zayed Sustainability Prize under the Global High School category for Sub-Saharan Africa. School came first after embarking on a project to invent a solar dryer for smallholder farmers to prevent uh, post-harvest losses and increase their income. 300 students and 50 teachers will have the opportunity to receive training and become solar green ambassadors. The invention will directly impact 13,000 smallholder farmers and 200,000 community members. Farmers are expected to increase their income by 40% because of the newly invented solar dryer. Joining us uh, today is the project lead of the invention, Mohamed Sadisu Abdul Malik. Good to have you on Arise News. Yes, thank you very much. All right, uh, just give us a, a sense of how the Zayed Sustainability Prize uh, came about and tell us about its core objectives over time. Yeah, the Zayed Sustainability Prize is a, <coughs> is a competition which is an international type. So from so African Sub-Sahara, we were able to participate while well, we, we come out of the finalists. Three of us were there, were invited to UAE. So from there, it was announced that we have won. We have written our own on solar dryer, where the harvest of our small-scale farmers, which used to be at a great loss, will now be improved. So that was how we participated. We wrote on it. Our students were having the idea and we have given them a series of ideation and support where the write-up was made possible and submitted. So after a long while, we now received the result. So, and actually we have heard about the competition through one of our staff who is residing in the southern part of Nigeria. There are some of the states who participated earlier on and he went to our town on service process uh, uh, he went for a service so when he went having seen how we used to conduct our uh, clubs and societies because every Thursday is dedicated for clubs and societies where we are discussing issues that concern the technology and the jets and what have you so from there, he realized that this thing has impact and it will one day help us. On coming back here, hearing from about the Z sustainability, he now pitied us, tell us that this is a great opportunity that we can partake. So from there, we now think of how to start it. The students are normally children of poor people whom Palmer, whose parents were farmers. And they have been experiencing how difficulty the parents were experiencing in their processes. And it is through such farming that they are paying their school fees, they are feeding them, they are doing what have you. So they have been thinking on how to help their parents. They have series of ideas. They have many ways by which this thing can be improved. But unfortunately, they don't have the funds to support themselves as well as they cannot help the parents. So by hearing about the Earth Sustainability, where we know it's an organization <coughs> that is aimed at helping the society and the members, so we now participated with a good intention. And right from when we participated, we were optimistic in it, and God so kind, we were able to make it. All right, Mohammed. Um you know, still on the solar green ambassador concept of this uh, initiative, uh, what will be the greater impact of this gesture, this invention, uh, as it were? How will people benefit uh, from it? Yeah, people will benefit from it by installing the solar drying machine. The project will be a kind that we are going to purchase or procure some solar panels and solar drive machine, which will be utilizing the solar energy instead of the electricity, which is a failure here with us. <coughs> so 
when it is installed, it will be installed in about five communities whom we are going to provide a sense of ideation to them through workshops to tell them how about uh, on the solar drying machine and how it is going to be utilized. The old method they used to have is they are drying it under sun and that one is contaminated. It is very prone to many contamination where animals and so on will be and dust is contaminating what we are doing. And they are farming a lot of harvest which cannot be exhausted therein. So it has to be stored maybe or it has to be kept for a while. So by the process of keeping it, that is why they are using such old method of drying it. But there are so many problems attached to it and it is causing a lot of loss for them. So now by this solar drying machine, when it is introduced, we can install it in many places in the communities. And from there, we will show them how to use it. When they cooperate, we are going to be drying the harvest within a short period of time. A lot of things will be dried within a short period of time, and it will reduce the cost of failure or loss which they are having by about 40%. That means there will be an increase in the benefits they will drive from change of the method and methodology by which it is going to be utilized now. All right. All, okay, let me just chip this one in. Um, quickly, I want to hear from you. The prize money, how far do you think it will go in helping these people push out these inventions and make it even commercially viable? Yes, the money that will be received will be very important and will be useful to the societal members because it is the money that we are going to use in the first place. In fact, the organization is going to release the money in trenches where there will be a first trench, second trench, a third trench, and the last trench. So the first trench, when, when given, will be utilized in a series of ideation and workshops where 200 teachers 50 students and uh, some selected farmers from the society will be called upon to be taught on how the importance of these things are and how we are going to use it. So after this, if they understood it and accepted it well, from there we start the purchase of the solar panels, solar drying machine and, and the lands on which we are going to uh, plant them. So you see, the money will be highly impactful in the communities because all these things are going to be in, uh, are going to be planted within the about seven communities of the area we are living as these people are not in one place some of them are doing it in this place some are in the other places they normally have these types of uh, farming system near rivers because they are utilizing money i mean water and this water, if it is not around the river area, it will not be easy for them for irrigation. So now, when we got it, we are going to distribute it over these places, the local communities, and from there, we are going to start utilizing it. All, all right, Mohammed. Uh, let's talk about the um, prospect of mass production of this uh, invention. Uh, is the materials or the, are the materials rather going to be locally sourced and uh, you know you already mentioned the prospect of widespread uh, you know uh, application of the invention so what are your thoughts there in, in terms of getting it uh, uh, you know or mass produced uh, what we are intending is if it is gotten and if all is well there is going to be a mass reduction in the loss of harvest because the other one that was used was not so conducive and convenient. But this one will bring more ease and uh, it will hasten the processes where a huge amount of work will be done within a short period of time. And uh, many of them 
who were not able to do the writing will now get access to it and can easily attend to a very high level in the production. And the cost of failure and loss which they were having will be reduced very much. All right, um, let's get to hear from you because certainly this particular sustainability prize and all this innovation is also geared towards um, climate change. Talk to us about this. How does your invention fit into that drive of COP28 and also helping in climate sustainability, so to speak? Yeah, it is. It it affects the climate change and sustainability because what we are going to start is going to be a sustainable pro process, and uh, by doing this, it is going to increase the rate at which the green live vegetables are produced. Someone that were someone that was doing small will now increase. And uh, somebody who has not been doing it may pick interest in trying to do it now. A lot of other people who are doing it in a small scale will now double their own. Others that were doing it very much will now increase and it will call on the attention and attract a lot of others who were not doing anything regarding it to now start it. When you go to the place, the green, pla uh, the green plants used to be very small. Why? Because of the massive failure and loss the farmers are experiencing. But I believe with this process, they will learn to develop more interest in doing it. And from there, a lot of other people will now come in and will make almost all the place very green. And from there, you see it has changed the climate by improving it and uh, bringing so much impact and changes to it. Alright, Mohammed. Um, is this prize uh, uh, mainly targeted at northern Nigeria or beyond, uh, you know, other aspects of the country? Can Can you give us uh, your thoughts on that? Yes, as of now, to start with, we have restricted it to the northern part of the Nigeria. Why? Because. We have utilized the farmers, the small scale farmers that are around such areas. We have promised them that this is what we are going to do. And we had an interview with them that this is our schedule. This is what we are planning for. And this is what we are hoping. So you see, we are going to start with them as a start. But if it is well accepted, now we will diversify it. We will take it to where we cannot even tell us at the right time. It can reach anywhere and it can cover many places, not only the northern part of the Nigeria, but all parts of the Nigeria. Because it can be, even if we didn't move down to such places, we can send our ambassadors and uh, teach them how it is being done. If they have accepted it, it will be very beneficial and impactful wherever. All right, Mohammed uh, Sadisu Abdul Malik, uh, Project Lead, Said Sustainability Prize. Would like to thank you for your thoughts on those issues. Good to have you with us.